Time flows linearly, never backwards. Daniel Caesar, 2019. Hey y'all, so it's your girl Princess Jade. I'm back again with another video. And today we are going to talk about changes. What about changes? Well, it's constantly happening and our world is continuously, oh my god, I can't, wear, I can't talk, continuously changing. And because of that, there are things that we as the future generation or this generation have to make necessary changes for the future generation to, for the future generation to survive, pretty much. And what do I mean by that? If you guys pay attention to the news, you guys know that, you know, recently there was a climate strike and because climate change is real and because of the actions of our previous, of the previous generations, it has affected us and it's, it's affecting the future generations. So I'm encouraging you guys to make the necessary changes that needs to happen so we can live more live on more this on earth. This earth. And not, and not destroy, destroy the, world. the world because y'all i don't know if you guys hate the world that, that much. much i don't know if you do at all but if you guys love the world you guys love the earth you're gonna do something about your home because this is where we live this is where we are we were born it's not something we can just mess up, up and like leave for other people to clean up it's our job to make this place livable and with climate change happening we have to change too like mother nature is literally forcing us to change our ways and let me go into veganism but before that let me give you guys um an example of making changes so if you guys are familiar with the bible you know how there's an old testament and a new testament and why is there an Old Testament? Why is there a New Testament? It's because changes were made. Because though at that time, things were changing. And for people to, to continue growing, they had to make the necessary changes, which is why the New Testament was made. Because there were outdated things in the Old Testament. So I brought that up because it's applicable to this modern day also. There are things in the past that are no longer working, that are no longer serving us, and we need to make... I don't want to say rules. But rules. We need to make new rules. You know, we need to pave the way for the future generations for this world to continue on being livable. Because if we don't make the necessary changes by... I don't know the statistics perfectly, but you guys can do that on your own. Maybe by 2050, apocalypse might happen and we're doomed. And I'm just being honest with y'all. If we don't make the necessary changes that we have to do. And there are so many things out there that we have to change. First of all, how, how we eat. eat. And yes, I'm going into veganism, veganism because it's one of the biggest solutions that we can do to help save this world. It's a very simple thing. It's what we eat, what we do in a daily life, but it makes up for a bigger picture. Let's go into the st statistics of things. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't really trying to make a video on veganism, but it's kind of just something necessary and we're talking about change because it's one of the biggest things that we have to change in this world. And first, like, the first benefit of, like, environmentally anyway, of going vegan is, like, you cut your environmental greenhouse emissions. So what is a greenhouse gas? Emission. Well, according to Wikipedia, it's the gas that absorbs and emits radiant energy within the thermal infrared range. And the greenhouse gases can cause a greenhouse effect. And what that is, is a process by which radiation from a planet's atmosphere warms the planet's surface to a temperature above what it would be without this atmosphere so you know it's really not a bad thing or a good thing you know it's a neutral thing but when greenhouse gas emissions goes up that means 
the temperature of this world also goes up. That means our icebergs are melting. That means the water level is going up. I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm just trying to simplify this as much as I can. Apparently, I saw like a post recently about how there are many bacteria and viruses that are stuck in the icebergs and if those break loose, if those melt, if we don't stop the greenhouse gas emission from going up, then this place is doomed. And who is gonna get affected by those illnesses, by those bacterias and viruses, viruses that mother, mother nature, nature has, has purposely, purposely put in put those in ice, ice so that it would remain there and not be, be affecting, affecting us. us. It would be affecting us. It would be affecting the people that are still living on this earth and quite frankly our future generation, the children, they're gonna live on this earth you know for a longer time than we are now especially and the reason why like you know kids are going out of their way like Greta Thunberg she's going out of her way to like try and help change this world by speaking her truth because it's true it's their future that it's getting affected because of our older generations choices because of the greed because of the greed that they want to make money and when you're greedy you don't really care about other people because you know you want the money and quite frankly that kind of mindset isn't serving us anymore that's one way to go about it and let's see another benefit of going vegan is you know it preserves habitats and species because when you go vegan you're probably like well i'm only one person it's not gonna help the world that much but if you don't go vegan you're just adding on to the you pretty much you're supporting the act of destroying the habitats because these industrial manufacturers they're trying to destroy bodies of water and rainforests to make more space for animals just so they can slaughter them just so they can slaughter them so when you go vegan you're very conscience free because you know you're not contributing to that you're not contributing to the mass slaughter of animals and you're not contributing to people destroying the, the planet. planet and when you go vegan that's one more person supporting that movement and the big industrial companies only listen to what the market wants if they see that more and more people are going vegan they're gonna go in that route too so that's why we need as much as people to go vegan so we can make a big change because that, that one percent can make a difference, difference. You can make a difference just by going vegan. I know like this video is probably titled, you know, the changes that we need to make in the changing world. But I felt like this is necessary to talk about if we're talking about a changing world. And then you guys can do your own research if you really want to. But I strongly encourage you guys to do that. To do your own research. Do your own research about the benefits of going vegan health, the health factors of it, the benefits uh, environmentally, uh, spiritually, and all that, like mentally. Because there are so many and like this channel isn't about just going vegan, you know what I mean? It's not a vegan channel, it's just me talking about anything. And it's me encouraging people to make their own researches. And enough about being vegan. I have this or like most of y'all who aren't even interested in probably going vegan probably already clicked off. But if you're still here, thank, thank you. you and thank you for dealing with me. <laughs> and yeah. Anyways, this world is just constantly changing and we need to help it. We need to help Mother Nature. Because if we don't don't you guys feel bad for like the future generations just because you've lived your life? And then you want to take that away from the future generations. We just need to make changes, you know. And like the changes that I made to help this world is going vegan. And if you don't like, you know, go to climate strikes or switch to metal straws or you know, stop using straws or stuff like that, you know, do your best to help this world. 
because quite frankly I think the, f the older generations aren't that interested in helping us because they've lived their life, they have their money so it's our job to, to sustain this world <sighs> but enough about the world let's talk about changes within yourself which I'm kind of scared to go into because anyways I talked about my previous video how if you love yourself you will find ways to understand yourself and there are so many information out there that paved the way for us to actually go ahead and do that and so many people lately that are writing new books and the changes that they have to make and I, f I follow their advice if I see that it resonates with me but also you have to make your own changes within yourself that probably is new probably like change is just uncomfortable it's like it's very uncomfortable but it's something necessary that we have to do if we want to improve ourselves and i'm just rambling but anyways i'll probably end this video on this note time flows linearly never backwards daniel caesar 2019 <laughs> and think about it it's true like he's he's woke woke okay. af and because Time is linear. linear. You know, linear means going up like that. It never goes backwards. Some things of the past doesn't serve us anymore. And you have to learn how to differentiate what things in the past serves us or what things doesn't anymore. And when you decide on that, you have to make the necessary changes that you have to make for you to go up. And I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video makes it on the internet. And yeah i hope you guys like subscribe and really i hope you guys do share this video or leave a comment down below about what you like or what i need to improve on do all of that necessary because i really want to improve on myself and that's why i accept criticism whatever it may be i'm gonna use that to my advantage and make the necessary changes as necessary and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it may be. I love you guys, like genuinely. And don't forget to love unconditionally. Alright, y'all. Bye.